but for right now, why don't we enjoy going through some of the world, finishing up World 5, and going through some of the next few worlds before we go to a different game. Let's jump right in. Oh. Oh! I didn't expect that to work. So they actually have a pretty good range. I'm just gonna... Oh! On impact. I love that. Speaking of bob bombs, I got a little bob bomb over here. Bob bombs are so cute. I love the bob bomb. Oh, screw this bunny, dude. Screw this bunny. <laughs> Thank you. It is a fast bunny, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, oh! 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 No! <laughs> Mario, stop running. Oh. Oh. I thought it was gonna fall off. It's so difficult. This game I don't think has 360 movement. I think it's limited, like, six way movements. Outside, up, diagonal, down. So I don't think it's full 360. Yeah, it's only six... Uh, eight angles? That's hard. That's hard to run in a circle. I love how in every Mario game, there is at least... Um... One of these where you're drawing in, like, the old Mario. Remember in Galaxy, where it was those flipping panes? Or no, the disappearing panes? Where after you stepped on the pane, it disappeared? So it started... It was, I think, a 100 purple coin and you had to get all the coins. To be the, one of the most expensive and, oh, our favorite pastime, oh, oh. I think we might get all the fairy ones. Favorite pastime? Tickle the fairy. Goodbye, fairy. Hope you liked your tickling. Tickle all the berries! Oh, is this going up? Are we going to Sky World? <gasps> I feel like we're getting close to the end here. They only put Sky World. I'm afraid of going in here without sending a- Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm afraid of doing the thing, does the thing. I was thinking of doing something every time I died. Like, I have a, a pack of... I have a pack of those bamboozled jelly beans. I was like, maybe... Maybe I should eat one. <laughs> every time. Every time I die, as a punishment. Just, just eat one of those jelly beans. Can I... No, 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 what? It's oh. <laughs> gonna kill me. Uh, I don't like the boo house. Last time we spent half an hour just trying to figure out the boo house situation. Which I didn't like very much. It's been a lot of- <gasps> They're doing pirate chips! Also, I love the Boo House music. I might not like the Boo House. Oh, and also bullies. We haven't seen bullies in a while. It's also a problem to me. Ever since uh, Mario 64, Mario hasn't known how to kick anymore. <laughs> Mario lost the ability to kick. And that was honest. That was honestly the best ability Mario had. Because he would go up to a bully or anything. Woohoo! Mario 64, I still love the kit that Mario had in Mario 64. I think it's one of the best uh, ability. One of the best abilities that Mario had. I 
And this way, this one isn't even doing it by physics. It's doing it in what direction Mario's facing. So it, it's even less realistic in that regard. <laughs> I guess I'm nitpicking a Mario game now for its use or lack there of lack of use of physics. Because, like, it was cool with the bullies originally in 64, because you would actually... Oh, that bit. When the music does that, when it goes into that crescendo, I guess it's what it's called. Uh, oh. See, like that, I, I'm still thinking Mario 64, where I am, I'm trying to pound the corner of them that is opposite. So, like, if I'm pounding on this side, it's gonna go... It's like billiards, essentially, right? So, but here, if, if I'm facing that way and I bounce here, it goes that way, and it's like, that's so counterintuitive. That is so counterintuitive. I really, I thought it was really smart because I think that, that Mario 64 is one of those games that isn't just creatively good, but it's technically good. So, a lot of the things you see them do is... Wasn't just for oh, is there a secret here? Is there a secret here? Wasn't just for fun that they did in that game. They were also tech demonstrating demonstrating the technical ability of of the 64. And that's something that you like they were demonstrating the physics of it. As if I needed any more one-ups. The truth is... <laughs> the truth is... I might need one-ups. <laughs> I really might need one-ups. <laughs> when it comes... To the... To the end of the game. By the way, is my... My thingy working? Ah, blah, 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 blah! I guess. <laughs> oh. Is there a secret here? No. Secret coins. I really don't need one. Oh, interesting. They make it so I can... <laughs> no, Mario! Mario! No. Is it true what you say, though, about persistence of innovation? But with the same mechanics? Persistence of innovation, and I think it's less thematic. I think it is more... I, I think it is mechanical. Like, they are consistently adding new mechanics to the game. So, like, these guys were new. These long... Piranha plants. Oh! Okay, I need to go down. <laughs> I went right... Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, they are very familiar. I think they build on top of each other. It's definitely not a just like, okay, out of left field. Let's throw something in here. Let's put a human in a Mario game. Uh. But then they'll do something like this, like the cat, which will add a, a new di dimension to the game. Where you never really had any power-up before that just allowed you to climb. And it's interesting because... Are you serious? He... He went around it. <laughs> okay. I guess my 77 lives are coming. <laughs> so they'll use very familiar themes. So like the jungle, like we've seen all the Mario levels that have the, the purple group. And whatnot, and uh, you know they always have the weird piranha plants. They're, they're never like this. Never ones that you like. These are cool because you can step on them and they'll retract, which I think is something that we haven't seen before. At least not in. Yeah, I, I don't think we had ever seen before. We have seen many types of piranha plants, so it makes sense, including. In the sense that it makes sense in the Mario world, right? Because, oh no, this is a bad mistake. Because <laughs> these are all f the. I am a disappointment to my family now. And I think at the same time it's very interesting because 
they don't just build on the history of Mario with it, their mechanics. They actually, it, within one game, are doing that progression as well, because you... Not only are you being presented to new mechanics, uh, just in general, that build on the mechanics you've seen throughout Mario's uh, career, or <laughs> series, but you're also seeing them build on these mechanics they introduce within each game. So you're watching them do things like, okay, beginning of, of the game, you get a you get a cat suit. Hey, that's fun. Become a cat. Meow meow. And then the next thing, they're like, okay, now you're gonna have to have a cat suit if you wanna reach some of these areas. Now it's actual actually going to be like If I want to do a lot of the things, like climb up, up the move. Oh no, I need to climb that moving platform. If I want to be a real boy like Pinocchio. Uh, no, no, I was tricked. <laughs> Okay, I'm really struggling today. I guess World 6 is the world that turns this game from from a baby's game that everyone was always telling you about into an adult's game. Because, or I'm just being very slow. <laughs> okay, this is gonna shift. Screw you. Get out. Hey! There we go. But it's crazy too, what I was mentioning earlier. How much of a hindrance not giving you full movement. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Not giving you full movement is. It, it actually makes a insane difference. Okay. But yeah, so it's, it's more of a soft innovation, I think, with Mario. I guess it's more iteration at that point. But they will constantly be bringing new ideas in. Whoa! That's a gladiator bully. What a... Oh, hello. I don't have depth perception. Time to be a Goomba. Oh, they both dropped it. I guess it's very... I have a boomerang. I can't do it. Because <laughs> I'm a Goomba. Put that on. How do I get rid of Goomba? <laughs> no more. <laughs> Stop being crazy. How do I get rid of this hat? Oh, they don't like it. Uh, I need to have another marathon of. I uh, I actually watched Spirited Away recently. Do I just put my book booty on fire? Yeah. I actually watched through Spirited Away recently. And oh, it holds up so well. I forgot that that movie came out in 2001. Are you serious? I completely forgot. Like, for, for some reason... Well, for some reason. That movie just feels timeless to me. I do not really associate it with, like, a year or a time. It, it just... It works for any moment. It's one of those movies. And 
And I'll be honest, I have not watched many Ghibli movies. Uh, I've only seen the more recent stuff. And even then, not all of them. Uh... I don't know why, why I'm so... Like... Why I've been trying to butt stalk them. It makes it so much harder, I can just hop on them. Wait, this is the end of the level? No. Wahooey, no! Maybe... Interesting. So there's a whole other area, but I could have skipped it. <gasps> Not here. And I, I love, that's one thing I love too. Not specifically Mario or anything, but just... One thing I love is non-linear level design, so like, you don't have to do everything. For it to... For you to get to the end. I think that that... That's the best thing open worlds can do, but like, so many of them just don't do it. So many of them treat open... So many games in general just treat open worlds. As if they're just more like a linear world, so... They'll put you at a start and show you to the end of something, but it'll... But they they won't really respect that they made an open world. That's why so many few games, and in general, game devs, I think, are getting better. Uh, but... I think that a lot of them just, like, put you in missions that really funnel the world where they could really be using the, the full world for their advantage. But yeah, uh, to go back to Studio Ghibli, um, it was not my first time watching it. Um, for the ones who know her, it was Kylie's first time watching it. So I watched it with her for the first time. How do I deal with this guy? What do I beat him? not what I what I would imagine when I'm <laughs> getting this. Yeah, no, this is really cool. I like it. I really like it. That's that's something I, I didn't really expect. Usually it's just, oh, bopping him on the head. That's what I was trying to do at the beginning. So, you see, that's a, like, for a Mario game, that's innovative. <laughs> Making you use a, your brain a little bit more than just stomp on that. Stomp on that Goomba. Another fairy house, another fairy for us to take one. Oh no. That's a flirty fairy. Never flirt with a flirty fairy. That's what I've learned. It always ends bad. Nope, not saying it. This is... We got BBs and we got other things. We. This is for, for when we go into Nick at Night mode. <gasps> Little boot Goomba. Okay, we we need a boot Goomba redemption because look at these guys. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> So derpy. Oh, I think I'm gonna. All right, it's redemp. It's boot redemption time. Boot redemption. Boot redemption. Can it go? Yes. No. <laughs> My boot redemption. I love that boot so much. But yeah. So now here they add something that can hurt you if you fall off to it. And then over there, it's a very narrow platform. So now that they've taught you thoroughly how to deal with these guys, they just throw it off. No, Mario! Mario! <laughs> I thought he was gonna slide out. 
Mario, you're supposed to slide down, buddy. I can't. If I hadn't butt stomped, it would have been fine. I like that they're just going in circles. <laughs> they're having so much fun. Little Goomba's just going in circles. Like, yeah. I, I don't even know what a Goomba would sound if it had a voice. What would a Goomba sound like if it had a voice? This is gonna bother me. What? Why have I never thought of this? Goombas don't have voices. How will they be heard? But to go back to the <laughs> the Ghibli thing, the only two Ghibli movies I've seen is Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away. I don't think I've seen any of the other, other ones. Uh, I know that people tell me to watch Princess Mononoke. Uh, what else? when you can only name one more movie. And then there's other movies, but I don't remember. Castle in the Sky, that's my suggestion, okay. Hmm, I've never heard about it. By the way, tonight's drink is Coke Cherry. This stream is not brought to you by Coke. I've just discovered that I actually really enjoy Coke Cherry. <laughs> You see that Luigi crouching over there? What's the deal with that? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. The weird Luigi just crouching. Luigi is a creep. Let's be honest. Luigi is a creep. He would be the one that's just like, hey, I'm watching that fairy over there. <laughs> My neighbor tot. Oh. Oh, I've definitely heard of that one. Definitely heard of Totoro. Totoro. What's it mean? Really, these names are like play on words or something like that. But it's incredible how timeless those movies are. Like, they truly are fantastic. And I think to me, that's... That's one thing a lot of movies should strive to be like. It shouldn't be, oh, just these hard movies for adults to think and just... And, like, I'm nothing against that, but... I think the best movies are the ones who can be very deep, but still be made for all ages. I think once you achieve that balance, I think that that is much harder than just going hard on being like, oh, super childish for kids! Or being like, oh... Being like, oh yeah, overly aggressive. Overly just explosions and whatever. I think that there is a real, real artistic beauty in in making something like that. Because it's hard. <laughs> That's why Pixar movies really, I admire a lot of Pixar movies. I, I feel like Pixar still makes one of some of the best movies Disney makes in general. Like, oh, that's creepy. Look at the bottom. No, no. <laughs> when you realize there is an infestation of, oh, it's an auto scroll. I can't even go faster. Oh, oh, <laughs> coming fast. I don't like that. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Wahooey indeed. This is actually stressing me out. Oh, oh. Say like right there, Goomba. <laughs> Thanks, Goomba, buddy. <laughs> I don't like stuff where you're being followed. It always stresses me out. Please don't tell me it's in that box. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Bowser's bob -omb Brigade. I like, I like the little bob -omb thing we've got going on today. Especially because of my buddy back there. I love me a good bob -omb. Is there a hole here? Is this... Okay. Interesting, so all of these mechanics that... I honestly have become familiar with through 
uh, Odyssey and uh, Mario Maker were introduced by were introduced in this game, which is very very interesting. Really. I feel like some stars are in blue blocks. And that worries me. Give me a bob-bomb. Give me a bob-bomb. going. I'm just going. I can't believe it. I can't believe I've done this. I did everything perfect and ready to go. Now we talk about innovation, but then they bring back this dude. <laughs> it's not any harder when you add a bunch of shells and you still have a stopping time. So, all right. Glad I was able to. That also looks like my aunt. It's so weird to me that these some of these fairies look like my family members. <laughs> what does that say about me? <laughs> oh, interesting. They all have little different animations of thanking you, uh, or like. Th this is the polite fairy. This tune is so good. The Bowser tune in this game is good. Motley Boss Blob's Big Battle. Motley Boss Blob? You know, if you're gonna throw a bunch of words- <gasps> Why are you giving me- Why are you giving me double cherry? I don't like you already. Oh, that looks like- Liquid Mercury. Oh. I, I don't like this. I'll be completely honest. What in the world? Okay. Okay. And that's it. That's the boss. So, like, it's not... It's kind of... I don't know why. I don't know why it's throwing me off. I was a really dorky kid. <laughs> because I grew up with Mario World, the original, where he also runs like that. As a kid, I would try to emulate him. <laughs> I'd run with my little hands on the side. <laughs> you know, some things, some things you're embarrassed of admitting. I don't even know why. Whoa! Whoa. Isn't this World 7? Since. Oh, this is World Castle. <laughs> Since when is World 7? Oh! It does a thing like Mario World does too! It kind of circles around and then brings you to the middle. That's cool. But since when does. What? This is a seventh world. What kind of Mario game is this? They're breaking all the norms. Growing up, I used to love was also like blue fire stuff. And was it because of a game? Of course. <laughs> uh, growing up, one of the the games I would play on the Super Nintendo was Killer Instinct. And I was like, you know, you could say like, oh, why are you playing Killer Instinct as a child? Yeah, great fighting game. I, I ended up buying the new one, but you know, I'm not, I'm not really a, a big fighting game guy, so... But, you know, I bought it more for the nostalgia than anything else. But, uh... I loved playing as the fire character, which was called Cinder, and the... The, uh, alternate color was blue, which I preferred over the orange that he was. I, I watched the... The video where Miyamoto is takes you through the uh, 
the park. Okay, those were floors. I was like, I don't know if that's floor or if that's a hole. And there's a section like this, which is very interesting. That you, it's kind of like a bob. I think it was called like a bob bomb cave or something, where you take, where you go through and it's like all dark and stuff, and like you have fire balls and stuff like that. That was really cool. It really feels like the Mario park seems more of like a park for children. It's not. It doesn't seem like. Oh oh oh. It doesn't seem to have, like, that kind of broad appeal that their games seem to have. But that's the thing. I'm not a big park person. I'm not very familiar with what, how parks are usually designed. If they are, there are things more for adults. Not as in, like, again, kind of the similar thing to the picture thing. Things that are both interesting to both adults and kids. Or if they are truly more geared towards just the kids. But I, I would be, and honestly, I've always wanted to visit, like, a theme park like that. I never have. I've never really been to a theme park. But I think, I think it could be cool. I think that there's a lot that parks can offer, and it's a lot that I'm not very familiar with. Because I think that there are things that, like, certain forms of entertainment can only give you. And I think parks are one of those because of how tangible they can make things. It's one of those that can truly be, like, a very... a very engaging experience. So I guess it's more like when you do it more of an experience like that, I don't know how much depth you need. Again, because I... I... I haven't had much experience with parks and stuff like that. But I wonder if I would find it super engaging to go to, like, something that seemed more childish and simple, like what the Super Nintendo world seems to be in Japan. Or if I would be like, oh, this is kind of boring. It's like a completely new world for me, which is honestly kind of exciting. Where I, I know nothing about theme parks. <laughs> it's like, oh, how, how much of that, like, tailored experience of you being there? I think I might keep these two. Yeah. I don't know if any of what I said make, makes any sense, but... I think that's something that would be interesting to try out for sure, if anything. Red Hot Run? Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. That's all I need. That's all I need. I can take the other path now. That's one thing that I think, if you were to make this game a little bit harder, because they already say that, like, if you're a more practiced player, you're supposed to be getting the... the, uh... the stars. That's kind of like the added challenge for if you're a more practiced player. I really think they should not make it so that they stay if you die. Like, the ones after a checkpoint or stuff like that. I do think that they should keep it more annoying. And you have to do the hard path if you're gonna keep them. Because I think it, it makes it a little bit too easy. If you're just... 
I'm gonna cheat it just like I did there. Like, that's totally cheating. At least to me. Because, like, I got it, but I don't need to do the hard thing. I can- I can throw myself at a wall here. And not have to- She totally is the polite fairy! Yes! <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so excited about figuring out the personality of the fairies. That's- that would be a small- and that's the thing, with a lot of Mario games, you're essentially nitpicking a lot of the problems. Isn't it? They're not really, like, big problems. <laughs> really. Excellent! Oh, wahoo! And also, there's something, there is something about the Mario voice lines. Okay, I see one star close to you. There's something about Mario voice lines that they make you want to say them. <laughs> Have you ever realized that? How Mario voice lines make you want to say them? Does that happen to anyone else? Because it really happens to me. <laughs> there's some voice lines, not all of them. I'll, I'll be completely fair. It's not all of them, but there's some voice line. I'm just like, excellent! Wahoo! But still, and I know I've mentioned this, I think, oh, a million times on stream. But my favorite line is when he lands. What game was it? It's, it's either Galaxy or, or Sunshine. But whenever he lands from a tall, I, I don't know why I'm stopping. Uh, <laughs> I get really excited about saying this, because I love it so much. Um, whenever he lands or something, and I think it's, is, um, uh, what's it called? It's Galaxy, because he does a lot of landing in Galaxy. Um, he goes, yeah, and it's so satisfying. I'm just like, yes, Mario. Yeah, you land. You land like that. Because he is so satisfied with himself. And I'm just like, oh, that is the... You, you can feel his satisfaction. <laughs> it really just gets me. <laughs> no, there's a tiny one! <laughs> Sometimes I just randomly do Mario. Yeah, me too. There's some voices that are just like that, you know? I'm sure- I'm sure you have that as, as well. I'm sure everyone has, like, certain voices that they- they just, like, feel, you know? And... Mario definitely has so many good voice lines. Because they're so easy to say, and there's, like... It's- it's all about the way he says it, so I think that's why they- They actually represented emotion so well. It's because it's all in the way he's saying it. Okay, can I do it? And it's so fun. Yes! Yes, it is so fun to- You're just like, Wahoo! Hey! It's because he's so happy. He just want to do it. It's just like, hey! <laughs> you get mad at him. He's so happy and you're just like, Oh, you silly Mario. Can't stay mad at him. I know. Like, oh, Mario, what are you doing? Oh, Yahoo! <laughs> you're sad, but you're like, Yahoo! Sad Mario is still happy. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. I'm uh, always happy. No one can know my pain. Yahoo! Being a cat must be terrible on his back. Imagine sitting like this. Ooh. I'm already an old man with my back pains. Oh, I see you. I see you. This time we're ready. We're gonna rock this. There we go. We're speeding through this. Speedrunner mode. Okay. I'm gonna kill this Joey. This Jelly Joey. That's a good name for me. Alright, we're gonna speed run this down, because I don't want those that weird goop getting me now. We go, we go, we go. Alright, we're out. 
That would be fun though. I, I am really I really wanna I wanna try a speedrun. I wanna try a speedrun. I think it would be really fun. But I think for a speedrun, especially if you're thinking maybe not professional. Not professional speedrunning, but if you're considering actually speedrunning a game, you have to be like decently good at it. So you'll play it many, many, many times. And if Again, this is what I was talking before, I have a hard time playing just one game or playing one genre like some people do, which I think is incredible that they do that. But... I... It would have to be a game that I really like, otherwise I'll hate it by the end of it. <laughs> by the time I'm actually speedrunning it. It's a very tiring job, but very rewarding, yeah, it is. when I see the bell. That's a question I have. Because I wanted to make Moon Man one of our emotes. It's from a channel. But when you're putting emotes... They specifically say, do not use content that is not yours. And then I'm like... Then I can't. But I'm gonna put a, a sub goal, because I know that at 15 subs, we get extra emotes. And I kind of really want to get more emotes on... I don't like that I have one emote on for like tier one, one emo for tier two, and one emo for tier three. I I want everyone to be able to have all the emotes. I don't wanna hide an emote away. Behind uh behind a huge paywall. Cause how much is tier three? Tier three is like fifteen bucks, right? This water world is very- I know, they make- You know what game I should play, but it's so expensive. Ah! A game that is gorgeous and is a 2D, um... Platformer, like- Mario! What are you doing? Are you sleeping, sir? Um, is Donkey Kong Country re Returns Tropical Freeze. That game is gorgeous. I absolutely... What is happening here? Did I... Am I... In the middle of something? And cuteness must die. Only cute one shall be to- No! No toads! None of that- none of that toad stuff here. This is not a toad household. <laughs> no. Toads ruin my vocal cords. I cried once because of toad. Toad gives me pain. No! Mario, why do you go in? <laughs> Mario, I was throwing fireballs at it for a reason. What I was talking about earlier, too, with uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong in general, too, has some of the most beautiful underwater themes. There's an orchestrated version of the original Donkey Kong Country's water theme, and oh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'll, I might play it uh, in between um, when I switch games. Oh, it's time to switch games. Just gonna finish this level up. So I guess we'll 
we'll finish up the game, because we're pretty close. This is Castle World already. Uh, we'll finish this up next time. And for now, we will go to a different game. And yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, probably going to be like at most a five minute break. So use the bathroom, do whatever you need, and I'll be back in about five minutes.